with some fat wood shavings. A little hard to do with these short pieces, but it's all right. If I can find it, I sure do love fat wood. I don't have a lot here, but if it's decent fat wood, it'll go up anyway. It just helps to have more of a bundle. Well, maybe I just have too small of a bundle. There it goes. real quick with this Falcon even A1. I'm sorry, not a notch. Drill a hole. That's what I'm doing. Makes pretty quick work of drilling holes because it's got quite a bit of weight behind it. Got good tip strength. There it is. pot hanger type notches.
All right, there's all my firewood prep. Starting over here. Got some fat wood. That's mostly just to play around with. Just to see what the quality is. Two sets of fat wood there. I got my uh, shavings from the feather sticks. Small, medium, large. And then my fuel woods over here. Just gonna use shavings from uh, this size wood. Get our fire going. Gonna do some bacon today. Should be pretty tasty. I'm pretty hungry, so we'll get going. Okay, we'll see if this works. Um, you can see I got a tripod there, a tripod there, and then just a cross beam to hang the bacon from. And I also got, I'm gonna move the tripod here. Sorry for that movement. But uh, also got, and in there I got pot hanger just wedged under the rock braced on that rock and then hung over it's going to be under the bacon but uh, we'll see how it works I guess the best part of bushcraft is that you just improvise and use what you got and you know make things work and that's the fun part I guess That's pretty good fat wood. You can hear it sizzling. old-fashioned pot-in-the-fire method. Nothing but the highest quality bacon for me.
Just about boiling, we'll give it another minute. So it's uh, late August, late October. I think it's the uh, 29th. We had snow up here <clears throat> early October. So now it's consistently being nice and cold up here. Gets into the 20s, and uh, just kind of gets me excited. Really like this time of year. Love the fall. I like the cold part of fall. I like the autumn colors and everything, but I like when fall starts approaching winter. It starts getting cold, especially when you go outside, go up to the mountains, and I don't know. It's something about um, actually needing your skills more, and, and uh, what, whatever skills you do have become a lot more important when it's cold. That's going to be a tasty piece, I guess. My fire going a little too hot there. <laughs> it's still on fire. So you what? Bacon may be pretty burnt, but it's still delicious. I'm boil up some cleaning water. Kind of sitting on the log there. Oh well. Whatever gets the job done. This Falcon even A1 is a heck of a knife. It's uh, really is one of my favorites. I don't say that too often. I know they said that about the Falcon even F1, um, and it is. But this is definitely one of my favorites. I only have two or three favorites. Um, this isn't necessarily a bushcraft knife. In fact, no, it's not a bushcraft knife at all. Um, it's designed as a survival knife. And I think it's great as such, um, but for me it's just more of a just a common use outdoors knife, um, just a field knife that uh, is really really tough. But uh, you know, for for bushcraft, no, it's not a great knife, but it can do some bushcraft things. Um, I I really can uh, make some really good feather sticks with this. It does really well with feather sticks. Um, you know, when you need to split down wood for like one stick fire or when your firewood's wet, um, it's really great at that because it's nice and thick, about a quarter inch thick, and it's got a pretty long blade. 
so it can really do some really good wood splitting. Um, it can strip limb pretty good because of its weight. You know, it can swing a little bit. I don't like using knives for chopping, so I don't know. I never really talk about chopping for knives, just because it's not that big a deal for me. But if you need to quick shear off, you know, part of a limb for making a pot hanger or anything like that, it's great for that. You know, the full tang design is just really tough. Um, it's got a lot of good grip with that craton handle. But, uh, and I, I really appreciate the stainless steel qualities of it while uh, really holding an edge. You know, I, I purposely don't sharpen my knives before I go out and make a video. Um, so, uh, this knife really holds a great edge. Um, I probably do need to sharpen it up a little bit, but the convex edge on this um, is a, it was one of the things that I think makes it great um, for feather sticks and slicing. It's also very, it's a, it's a strong grind, you know. So it just uh, just makes it contributes to the to the very tough knife that it is. Got a pretty strong tip. A nice sharp spine here for throwing sparks, um, and uh, you know wood splitting it does great. Those types of things for bushcraft this really fits in just fine. But for the finer stuff, you know, it's a little harder to control. I don't find it difficult to control for basic uh, basic things. Um, but when you want to get a little more detailed, uh, work on finer stuff, it's a little big for that sort of thing. So, um, not a bushcraft knife, but a uh, good survival knife, a good camp knife, outdoors knife, and uh, it's, it's just one of my favorites, and I, I really like taking it out and using it. As you can see, it's been put to a lot of use. So, that's the uh, Falcon Even A1.